Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun haul, I think, for you guys. Uh, I have things that I've purchased from uh, Dollarama and I decided to do like, um, it's mostly, I thought it would be fun to do like a kitchen kitchen essentials video uh, haul for you guys to see, to show you at my local Dollarama what awesome kind of kitchen things that I like to use. But let's get started guys. So, Dollarama, look at that. I've got a couple bags here. So I'm big on, I love um, storage containers and things like that. And I usually will get uh, some, a lot of times they don't have the best quality or the plastics, things like that at the dollar store. But of course I was there looking around and lo and behold, they have these Rubbermaid take along packs that I usually will get these at Walmart. Four cup ones three of the four cup and these were three dollars and I can't remember what I've paid at Walmart for these but these for storing baking to take that to co my co-workers at home to put uh, things in my fridge and freezer and I love that they are um, yeah you can put them in the freezer they're microwavable dishwasher and you can recycle now, I always them. when you're cooking or uh, having some kind of spread at your house or whatnot I'm always using pot holders to put my um, hot stuff on my uh, my island or whatnot. And I saw these. These are called woven trivets. And I thought for a dollar twenty-five, you couldn't really go wrong to put your pots. I, I've never used these before, so I thought it would be great to have actually a couple of these to utilize. So we'll see how those work out and I can always go buy more. And this is a cute little gadget. This is by Scotch, the brand Scotch, and you can see it was $3. My Dollarama has anything from $1.25 up to $3. And a lot of the name brand, most of the name brand stuff is $3. And when I find something cute, I grab it. And this is a safe cut package opener. And I saw that and I thought, this is awesome because I always use scissors and a utility knife to open any package packages I get. And this will be a really good gadget to just put in my junk drawer, my utility. Now I love using these parchment sheets. These are, uh, a lot of the stuff now I'm gonna show is from the Betty Crocker uh, line that they have at a Dollarama. And what I love is when you're baking cookies or anything that requires you to use either silicone um, mat thing or parchment paper, these are awesome because they come as uh, 10 sheets and they're 15 inches by 12 inches and you get 10 of them for a dollar 25 and they are awesome because you just take a sheet out you put it in you can actually reuse them and they're fantastic and this just makes for easy handling because I know when I use the parchment roll I have a heck of a time ripping off it curls it's really annoying so this has actually been off and really I'm always great. Uh, cutting and using knives and they have a line of different types of knives and I got this um, it's a chef knife and it comes with it's a smaller one and it comes with the cover as well and this was three dollars and good knives are hard to find and I guess I'll find out if this is a good knife um, I do have a knife sharpener that I can use to sharpen if I find it's not working well but I really so far anything I've bought of the Betty Crocker line I've really enjoyed and uh, they just have a ton of things to pick uh, to choose from so I really I'm excited because it's not too big and it's for kind of those jobs where you might want to do potatoes or vegetables or something like that and you don't need a big chef's knife but this size now um, I'm on the hunt for I because I do cooking and baking recipes on my channel I just use plastic these white plastic bowls I kid you not I have had these things I bought them at the dollar store <laughs> back when I was 17 years old when I moved out on my own for the very first time. And 
I, I'm now almost 43 and I'm still using those same plastic bowls and they're fine. It's just, it wobbles a lot when I'm trying to mix my dry ingredients and things like that. I actually found this Betty Crocker um, mixing bowl. This one was $3, uh, pretty decent size for mixing, um, for holding um, large batches of whatever it is you're gonna do. But what I really caught my eye to this is the plastic's very well done and it has a spout and this handle. So when I'm mixing, what I find about bowls, sometimes it's hard when they're heavy to hold them like this when you're holding a regular bowl and you're holding it and you're trying to mix it that can get a little bit uncomfortable this has this handle which is great because then you can hold it with one hand and mix so, it actually really love the look of stainless steel bowl i saw these i got to, ended up getting two of them but what i love about the stainless steel bowl it, it is dishwasher safe, you can hand wash it. It's a really good size and it has this flat bottom, which is what I was looking for with my new bowls because this way I put it on my kitchen island while I'm mixing and it's not gonna wobble all all over the place. Like really on the hunt for some, you know, sturdy bowls. And this was $3 and I think that's pretty good for a really nice stainless steel I, uh, bowl. Who doesn't love whisks? And again, here we are, the Betty Crocker. This is just a regular really a nice handle. It's beautiful, wide, like it's very nicely made. Um, I think it's gonna be a great addition to my cooking. And again, I'm, I'm really think a little, you know, investment goes a long way because all the other tools I use, I've had for many, many years and I haven't upgraded. So can't beat um, getting a really nicely made whisk. Um, for three dollars and i also my last i think this is my last betty crocker item um is a new set of measuring i have a really great stainless steel set my husband like derek got me oh many years ago for christmas at this specialty kitchen display they had at christmas time they are awesome um measuring cups and it was time to get another nice set this is two dollars and fifty cents and clearly you can see um clearly you can see it's it's labeled here with the betty crocker and um the writing is pretty good since i was in dollarama i just thought i'll go walking on down let's walk on down the the kitchen aisle and i thought i'll just check out and see if they have any cute aprons and what is not to love about a $2, $2.50 apron with a cute, cute hummingbird. And it shows you here on the packaging here what the apron actually looks like. And I just thought it's not, you know, it, I just thought for $2.50, you can't go wrong and I think it's going to be, it'll be nice to wear while I'm baking and not. Uh, not get stuff all over myself. To be honest, I love hummingbirds and most of them were actually quite ugly. I will give it that sorry Dollarama, but some of them, most of them were really mm, thumbs down. But this one was definitely cute. So I thought, well, I'll give I it a try. to get a new water bottle for, um, for and the gym. Honestly, what is not to love about this? It's a stainless steel stainless steel sports bottle was three dollars but it's absolutely beautiful it's pink and gray and i just think it is beautiful and what i really love is it's got the breast cancer symbol and on the back here you won't be able to see it because the price takes covering it, it says 10% of the sales of this bottle is donated to the Cancer Research Foundation to find a cure for breast cancer. And then it gives you the breast cancer uh, website in my life since I was a kid. Let's bring it up for some amazing, amazing, delicious, yummy, soft eating licorice, as they call it, by the brand Capricorn. And it's a genuine Australian um, licorice. They call this one, uh, or this is a raspberry flavored. And if you guys have not tried this licorice, 
this is me saying, oh Lord, you are missing out, people. It is so soft. It is open so, it up, because up. it is an essential. So let me open this baby up. Mm -hmm. I have to take a moment. I have to have another piece. Please don't judge. Guys, seriously, if you've never tried this licorice and you love licorice, you have to try it. Sorry, I'm talking. This is not Dollarama. This is Dollar Tree. And this cute, cute, cute mug I saw earlier, way before summertime. And what I loved about it, because I'm obsessed with chalkboard labels, is that it's a glass mason jar with this tin lid and the straw and it comes with a label on it chalkboard label and what does it say on there yeah it says it's mine people it is freaking mine you gotta go down to your dollar tree go have a look grab yourself a really cute awesome water I don't know I'm calling I, I, I use it for my water and then you can write mine on yours but you can't have mine you got to get your so own. guys that concludes my um what mostly was what I think are you know kitchen essentials to have in your home if you like to bake or cook so um, I really hope you enjoyed the video I hope you follow me on Instagram at decor dream and if you have any questions or comments, guys, please leave Thank them below. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. And I'm just leaving a little clip at the end here. As I was coming home, there was a huge amount of Canadian, Canadian geese on the pond that is just when you circle to go to my home. I've never seen that amount of geese at one time. And yeah, it's pretty. I love and I love nature and I love animals so to me I just had to take a quick little video of them and I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you in my next bye, -bye. thanks for watching yeah <laughs> bye guys